In building science, we spend a lot of time talking about air sealing, air tightness, air movement, etc. Why is that? Well, it's because air is actually quite wet. Um, Counterintuitively, it, it feels fairly dry. You don't feel the moisture. That's because it's in the form of water vapor or water gas, not steam, just vapor, invisible gas. The warmer air is, the stronger it is, and the more water vapor it can carry. The colder that it is, the weaker that it is, the less water vapor it can carry. Hot air strong, cold air weak. That, in combination with the fact that air can actually carry quite a lot of water. So for example, your average sized living room in North America, it actually contains about 500 milliliters, two cups of water in the form of water vapor. That's this much. This is how much water is just in the air of an average living room. Ridiculous. And if you're not careful with the airflow in and out of your building, what happens is that all of that water in the air can get dumped inside your walls as it's leaving your building and cooling off. That's terrible. You're basically just soaking your walls from the inside. That's ridiculous. That's one of the key reasons why air movement and air tightness is so super important in better building practice.